now bring in our ESPN FC host, Luis Miguel Echegari. So Luis Miguel, in the 68 years of this thing, PSG has never won it all. They're there every year, they just haven't been able to deliver. Is this the year for them? What do you think? Well, I guess I give them the same chances as I give my wife of her buying me a PlayStation 5 on Va Valentine's Day. <laughs> Do we have the resources? Sure. Is it a possibility? <laughs> of course. Will it happen? Uh, I don't know. No, look, let's look at the facts about Paris Saint-Germain, the most successful club in French history, who have never won the Champions League. This is Qatari-owned PSG, with the likes of Lionel Messi, now a World Cup champion, Kylian Mbappé, an already World Cup champion, and even at 31 years old, Neymar Jr. can still deliver. And it's not just about them. They have a manager in Crystal Galtier, who's kind of like a Greg Popovich kind of guy, who really likes to keep everybody in line. So you would think that finally they can do it. Here's the problem. Now they're facing Bayern Munich, a team that in many ways PSG wishes they could be. With all that star talent, they're still so cohesive, so good, German champions, and this is the worst possible enemy for PSG. They lost to them in the final, as you said, in 2020. They beat them in 2021, but still, this is a different story. So to me, David, it's going to be a really big mountain to climb for the French champions. So a big question mark for them, for sure. All right, kick off for that match later today. Uh, the implications of the match do extend beyond the pitch, Luis Miguel. What's sort of at stake for PSG in this match? David, I see PSG a little bit like that show Succession, right? A massive conglomerate with lots of internal conflict. And that's what's happening with PSG right now. They've already lost four games in the last 11 matches. This highlights you're seeing right now is losing 3-1 to Monaco, a game so bad that some of the players, including Kimpembe, had to go up to the fans at the end and apologize. Neymar was yelling at some players, and obviously there's some injuries that we have to watch out for in terms of Mbappé and Lionel Messi. So there's a lot of problems going on with PSG right now. Yes, they're leading Ligue 1, the French League, but right now, not all is well. So if they don't win this, and I believe that this, aside from the 2020 final, is PSG's most important game since Qatari ownership. If they don't win this, I worry because the fate of Lionel Messi, and if he stays or not, is another question mark. Kylian Mbappé wanted to go to Real Madrid. There's a lot of problems, David, and just like succession, a lot of drama. We'll have to wait and see what happens. All right. Tremendous amount of stake for PSG. LME on PSG. For goodness sake, somebody get this man a PlayStation here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.